It's easy to daydream of the days of top hats and frilly umbrellas here on Penang. Penang's colonial charm makes strolling on its streets like stepping back into time. Before it was claimed by Britain as a colony, there were about 200 locals living on Penang's rich soil. The island was known to the other neighboring tribes as Pulau Pinang, which means the island of betel nuts. And despite the British efforts to name it after royalty, the name stuck to this day. Back then, Penang was famed for nutmeg and cloves before turning into sugar and cash crops. With large foreign demands, Penang became wealthy from tin mines. The island then gradually developed into an important shipping port. to discover Penang's cultural heritage. Come with me as we discover its living legacy. top of Fourth Cornwallis, possibly the most historic place here in Penang. It is the spot where the founder, Captain Francis Light, first landed and raised the first Union Jack here in the Far East. Rapid developments created many opportunities for people from other nations. These migrations and succeeding intermarriages are what I believe makes Penang so unique from any other place in the world. I am at one of the famous clan jetties here in Penang where homes have been built on wooden stilts. Everyone here has the same family name, Chu, and they've been living here since the 19th century. The clan jetties is one remarkable area that is a continuous reminder of Penang's past. These families all came from China to work at the port. What started off as small homes near their place of work has grown into full communities, each with their own clan houses.
Little India needs no further explanation. It is a must to go and experience the colorful life these long established migrants lead right in the heart of Georgetown. The Kukong Sea is one of the many Chinese clan houses found here in Malaysia. And actually, it is one of the most ornate in the whole world. A few interesting facts is not a single nail was used to build this structure, and that there are Punjabi guards waiting outside this magnificent place. Stepping into this clan house unveils a vast history of the Penang coups from generation to generation. Traditionally, Chinese clan houses, or Kongsis, were established to provide a safe haven for a family to meet regularly together. The Ku Kong Si is one of the many clan houses in Penang, but probably the most beautiful, as I stood in awe at the rich ancestry and the family's preservation efforts. Malaysia is made up of three prominent races, the Malays, the Indians, and the Chinese. In Penang, there are four. 